You may or may not recognize these things. These are sheetrock or drywall wall anchors. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how they actually work. I have a bunch of different types here. Not all of the types of anchors. Uh, these are kind of my favorite or the most common. And we're just gonna install them so you can see actually what they do behind the wall when you use them and see actually how strong they are. It's not gonna be very scientific because I'm basically just gonna take a hammer and pull it, but it should be cool anyways. So the concept behind wall anchors is you have a piece here that goes into the drywall and these fins kind of open up and hold against the drywall um, once you put your screw in. To install them, you want to take a drill bit that is slightly smaller than the anchor. Then you drill a hole and then you install the anchor. So here we go, we got our first one. And drill our first hole. There you go. Now you take your anchor and push it in and it should have a little resistance um, and you want to just hammer it in a little bit. There you go. And then you can take your screw, install your screw, and you can see these fins open up. Keep an eye there. There you go. Now you can hang a picture or do whatever you need to do uh, and you didn't have to get into a stud. This works for, you know, ideally you want to get into a stud, but these are meant for hanging stuff in drywall without a stud. Next, we have a little step up. It's a little bigger than this one. And change my drill bit. Again, making sure that it's a little smaller than the anchor itself. Drill my hole. Take my anchor, push my anchor in, and hammer it in. Take my screw. Let's see what it does on the back. Okay, that one does not open up as much as this one. This one kind of flared out. This one just kind of expanded a little bit. So that's interesting. Next up, an even bigger one. Kind of a different style. It has these hooks right here. Uh, so let's see how this one works. Change my drill bit. Step it up a little bit. Drill my hole. Take my anchor. Hammer it in. That one went in with a little more resistance. Let's see. Now when we put the screw in. Oh yeah. Next up, my favorite is the screw in type. So the cool thing about this is you don't have to drill. And you can just hammer it in, get it started like that. Take your screw gun, screw it right into place. Nice and flush. Then you take your screw, There you go. And these ones, um, I'm not sure if this one is called it, but this one is called a butterfly anchor. As you can see, it's, um, I don't know, kinda looks like a butterfly, I guess. Um, so let's try this one. Uh, you have to install this one like this in there and drill my hole. Now we take our anchor, 
that right in there. Hammer it in. Let me take our screw. And the concept with this one is that behind the wall, this is supposed to catch that backside, and then as you screw it in, yeah, see the thing is, it's supposed to suck in like this. It'll be a nice solid hold like that. Um, but that anchor ended up spinning. Uh, maybe drill the hole a little smaller for that one. But yeah, that's in there. Okay, now we got this bad Larry. Uh, these things are awesome, I think. Um, basically, again, take a drill bit, but this time you want to go bigger than the anchor because you want to put this whole thing through. And the thing about this is I'm not going to be able to screw just to nothing. You need something to screw this to. So let's take a small piece of wood and make a hole in it. Careful of the fingers. And this will be the thing that we are trying to attach to our sheetrock. Now we can drill our hole. drill bit big enough. Now don't forget if you're using this one to put whatever item you're hanging in there first and then you can put the anchor on there just like that just at the tip like that. Now you can put it through and watch what happens when you push it back here it pops out. Now to secure this one, you're going to have to hold whatever it is against the sheetrock so you have something to hold it and then you screw it. Like that. And that just gives a nice solid hold right on the back there. Alright, so there's your wall anchors. Uh, let's see how good they are. I'm just try and pull on these. You're, you're going to be hanging something down more than likely. Um, but let's see if I can pull these out. And that was not hard. That was very easy. So not great. Second one, even less. That did nothing. Um, Okay, that's interesting because I, I thought that this one was going to be the worst because it's, I don't know, the smallest. But this didn't expand or anything. I don't know if these little things here are supposed to hook on the sheetrock or something, but that didn't do anything really. Uh, next. Okay, it's got pretty good hold. But I was able to pull it through. Now, my favorite one. Let's see how that one does. Wow. That came out surprisingly easy. That's disappointing. And that made a big hole. It made a big mess. Uh, like I said, this isn't very scientific, but that didn't take much effort at all. Um, neither did this one or that one. This one, I think, is probably the winner so far. Um, next is that kind of butterfly, that plastic butterfly anchor. Oh boy, that one's real, real tough. Oh yeah. That's difficult. If you go all the way with this anchor and squeeze that right down, then that's a solid anchor. I'm sure it's a different story if you didn't uh, pull this in all the way, but that's pretty solid. 
Yeah, I'm having a lot of trouble pulling this through. There we go. So, very strong. Very strong anchor. Uh, now, this one. Um, I mean, right off the bat, I can't even get in here to to get a hammer out here, so, or a hammer behind this, so try and loosen it up, and then just try and pry it out. There you go. <laughs> As you can see, that made a huge mess. Um, but you know, I'm gonna say, when you have this all the way to the back, that is really solid. As you can see, it grabs a lot of sheetrock. And the same with this one. And I'm really disappointed with these, uh, although they're very convenient, and if you're hanging something that's not very heavy, these are awesome. Um, but it seems like this one might be my new favorite. Just a larger version of this, um, and I think it held the best for the size and it didn't make a huge mess when you pulled it through here. Or, actually it's right here. Yeah, so, that's my pick. Um, there's other wall anchors, of course. Uh, there's some that go in with a strap that kind of straps against the back. Um, but these are just kind of the most common that you would use. So hopefully you have a better understanding of what wall anchors actually do behind the wall. If you're interested in seeing more stuff like this, or home repair videos, you can click on these videos here. And if this is your first time and you are not subscribed, consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.